This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. Another quagmire. Not really, it's just a hardware installation. How to set up Lacey external hard drive on Apple Macintosh. So I had a client and here is their request once upon a time. I just bought a Lacey 5 terabyte backup since my Last Seagate is now full. I have an iMac computer and have two Universal Serial Bus Type C and A ports. What next and how do I download this drive to my computer? What they mean is that, that they have a Lacey external hard drive. They were using Apple Macintosh operating system with Apple Macintosh High Sierra version 10.13.4. They had not yet plugged that hardware device, external hard drive, to their computer yet. They also wanted to know which universal serial bus type port to plug that external hard drive into. And then they had already started working when I did respond. All right. Now, some tips here. It depends on the external hard drive. You will want to find out the specifications, what universal serial bus port type is compatible with that hard drive. Is it type C or type A? If it's compatible with type C and it doesn't have a connector or any way to connect it to type A, there's no guarantees. And I'm not talking about adapters. Yes, you could you could study that further on your own and see if an adapter cable would work, but there's no guarantees. You might want to just stick with what the actual Lacey external hard drive comes with, the, the physical type. Is it the type A universal serial bus port or is it type C? Type C, well, again, it depends on. Type C, it really depends on the version number. Let's not digress away to that. That's a whole nother video discussion. Okay. Generally, Type C is is it is newer, but sometimes it's faster. It just depends on because you have Universal Serial Bus 3.2, which is what five gigabits per second, and some Universal Serial Bus Type C is five gigabits per second. Okay, let's digress away from that kind of discussion. Okay, I told them that they could hook it up to their Universal Serial Bus Type C connection. Then, so once you connect it to your computer on Apple Macintosh properly, you know what I'm saying, then you're going to have to format it. You cannot use it out of the box. The Lacy's, I don't think you can. Now, they may not all be manufactured that way, but in this instance, in this real world example, you have to format that external hard drive. So on Apple Macintosh operating system, here's how you format it. You might want to pay attention to this part of this video. First, you want to use the Finder tool. Then, you want to select Go. Then, you're going to choose Utilities. Now, once you're in Utilities, then you're going to want to select Disk Utility. Then, in Disk Utility, you will want to select your external hard drive, your Lacey external hard drive that you want to format. Now, caveat emptor, you don't want to make the mistake of choosing the wrong hard drive. And that includes the embedded hard drive that has the operating system installed. So just pay attention and make sure you choose the exact external hard drive that you want to format. Because it can, quote unquote, accidentally format your operating system hard drive. You reboot it. Bam, there's nothing on it. <laughs> then you've got a real quagmire on your hands. You know what I'm saying? And your wife, if you're a married man, she will not be happy with you. Not that she has ever been happy with you. But I mean, oh, my bad. That's a whole nother different niche on, on We Censor YouTube. Okay, now back to this video. I already went over these. Then you want to click on erase. You're going to erase that hard drive. All right. From the top menu. It's on. Well, it could have changed, but according to these instructions, the top 
menu tab. Just look for erase, click on it, select it, choose it. Then under the volume format, it's a drop down menu. You want to choose Macintosh OS Extended Journaled. Mac OS Extended Journaled. Choose that one. Then you can type in a label. It can be anything you want. Maybe make it something logical. You know what I'm saying? Divor <laughs> Divorce data. Divorce proceedings data. That, you know, then you'll know. Oh, there, there it is. I forgot where my, my divorce proceedings are because my wife's just, you know, filed divorce papers and, <laughs> and I need about 100 terabytes. I mean, I digress back. Okay. Then, one more step. Then you can click on Erase. And then it, it's done. You're ready. It is ready to use on Apple Macintosh operating system. Okay. That is how to set up Lacey external hard drive on Apple Macintosh. Now, here's some overtime that I may throw in. Yeah, why not? Let's go over it. This is a bonus tip. This may be a gold bonus tip. This may be a fool's gold bonus tip, but I'm going to give you a bonus tip since I feel so philanthropic today. Now remember, this was Apple Macintosh only. Specific, specific instructions, right? And it was Apple Macintosh version 10.13.4. Okay, now here is the bonus tip. This individual had a further procedure that they wanted me to accomplish. They wanted me to configure and use their newly formatted Lacey external hard drive with Apple Time Machine. If you're not aware, Apple Time Machine is the Apple default. It comes with the operating system you don't have to pay for it it's a backup and recovery software program is what it is it's it's actually pretty good you know what I'm saying so they wanted me to configure their Apple time machine software to use their lacy external hard drive that I just you know formatted for them and I remotely connect, connected into their computer I did everything for them you know what I'm saying and I'm almost at the eight minute mark but I'm already into overtime and let us just reset it so then it doesn't, you know, make noises. Okay, now this is what you will need to do in order to configure it with Time Machine. Now I ran into a little bit of a problem here. Their existing Seagate external hard drive that was one terabyte in size, okay, now, when I tried to check how much free space was available, it appeared as it being full. Now, this is where you, where you need to be careful. You want to change the device that Time Machine backs up to, but caveat emptor, I never give out advice, I never guarantee anything, and I never recommend anything. You know what I'm saying? You are responsible for your data, not me. And you're not going to blame me for not following instructions or using logic, all right? If your Apple Time Machine backups are running right now, don't even try to change the source or, excuse me, the destination. Okay, you want to open up the Apple Time Machine software, then you would change your destination disk while Time Machine is backing up data. It I would not try that. You don't want to try that. I would not. Don't do it. Just if it's using your previous external hard drive or a different one, wait until the backups are completed. You know what I'm saying? Then change it. It, it may not even allow you to make that change, but don't even try if it allows you. All right? Now, yes, so once the Apple Time Machine backups are completed, with a different hard drive or the previous hard drive or the one that's failing or the one that's full, whatever, ad nauseum, ad infinitum, etc., then go ahead and choose your Lacey or choose, you know what I'm saying? Choose the new one. 
You can either open up Time Machine from the top menu bar or then browse to System Preferences. I think actually that should be the dock. I think, I could be wrong, but I think you can open up Time Machine from the dock, which is actually at the bottom. You know that it, the word dock, it's a big long bar that looks like a dock and then the, the software programs dock themselves there. Their icons are docked and then they get released and they float away. You know what I mean? Yeah, hence the word dock. You can also find it at the Apple menu, which is at the top. Just look for the Apple icon in the top menu above or the dock below. As above, so below, say those lunatic, secret society member, Freemasons. Anyways, oops, we, we censor YouTube may not like me talking about such subjects, so I better digress back to this technical support video. You know what I'm saying? Then, in Time Machine, you're going to want to look for Select Backup Disks and then click on it. You will be given a list of hard drives. If you have multiple hard drives, they may all be listed. If you only have the Lacey, you should only see one, right? You want to choose the external hard drive that you want the Time Machine backups to use now. Very important. It will, over, it will I think it will write over that data, if, even if it's formatted, even if it's, there's already data on it. So make sure you choose the correct one if you have multiple hard disks. Then you can click on Use Disk. Now, since this is the first time that you are using your new Lacey external hard drive on Apple Macintosh, if you have a lot of data, it can take a lot of time. It can take a few hours. I don't know about days, but it could take a few hours. You know what I mean? Because it's a, it, get it, it's going to be a, I think it'll be a full backup then. It may not be incremental. You know what I'm saying? So it could take a while. Or... I'm, I'm not sure if Time Machine may be, does it automatically detect if, the, if you've been using that hard drive already, I think, I think it's incremental. I think you can kick off manual, but if, it, but if the hard drive has no data on it, I think it may actually automatically just perform a full backup, you know what I'm saying, which can take a while. Okay, now these instructions were written specifically succinctly for Apple Macintosh operating system 10.13.4 which is high sierra however i'm not sure how much you know you could try it on other apple macintosh operating systems you know you know what i'm saying the the locations might not be exactly the same or they may be close enough similar to microsoft windows you know what i'm saying all right that's enough how to set up your Lacey external hard drive on Apple Macintosh. Adios.